And tonight, Seminole Heights businesses bouncing back after Tampa police nab what they think is the serial killer. Yeah, business owners telling us that the atmosphere of the neighborhood in Seminole Heights is lighter. It's more relaxed. Our Carson Chambers is joining us live out there tonight. And Carson, I can imagine you could feel the difference in the atmosphere out there. You really can. I can definitely can feel it because we've been out here for weeks now and with folks walking around, they're just in a better mood. They're happier. They have a lot off their shoulders. Um, we did some shopping at Egan Seminole Heights today. People are more at ease and they are thankful for customers who are coming back. <laughs> Catherine Nossi hasn't smiled this much in weeks. It's so much more pleasant to be out and say hello to other people. Bathing her dog at Health Mud in Seminole Heights isn't a chore, it's a treat. The relief of going out and walking her in the evening was immense. Um, it was quite tense. Health Mud is one of the Seminole Heights retail outlets who lost customers over the past two months. Tonight, Kendra Conzi's small business is back. And we've had countless people coming in saying, you know, they just want to come in to support the neighborhood. Small Business Saturday was a success for Health Mud. Her tight knit Seminole Heights clients are loyal, but now outside customers are returning too. People are just saying hello. Strangers are saying hello to each other. It, to me, that's one of the biggest indicators of like people are feeling comfortable and relaxed. Comfortable and relaxed, just in time for the holidays. It is a relief to be out there and the smiles are all back. And so back live here in Seminole Heights, the Christmas trees are up, people are out on the porch, they're enjoying themselves. Business owners we spoke with say the ordeal has definitely made them more resilient and also much more thankful for their customers. We're live in Tampa, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.